Hello everyone, this is King Connell T. In this video, I will show you how to integrate ZigBee sensor or ZigBee other device integrate with the Home Assistant by MQTT. You can see this is a Xiaomi ZigBee sensor. This is a ZigBee switch. I can like this, turn on, really one. Uh, this is really H32B, really controller. And also I can press again, uh, turn off, really one. If I double click like this, this is really two is on and double click twice and uh, this relay two is off and also I can three times one two three uh, the third relay is output and uh, three times uh, relay is off and this is the first one two three four and one two three four and we will off and also you can press five times or more than five times one two three four five six uh, this relay is all on I have set and also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, the relay is off because it's greater than 5 times uh, that will be all the same so this is for the Xiaomi uh, ZigBee switch the Chinese name it means Xiaomi so this is the switch uh, by the ZigBee and this is battery inside uh, this is the package uh, we can open this package and this is a readme and this is a stick this stick is used by the this bank up for the stick you can stick on the wall or stick on the glass or in your anywhere uh, just uh, by this one okay now i will tell you how to integrate for home assistant and we can see the hardware firstly this is zigbee sensor when I press, you can see I will press on and off. The ZigBee signal is sent to this USB ZigBee adapt. Uh, this is a USB ZigBee adapt. And this is plugged in on the Raspberry Pi 4, or you can also use Raspberry Pi 3. And the signal sent to the adapt and uh, tell the home assistant. And the 32 bit radio controller is also connected with the home assistant by MQTT. So when I press the key, the signal is go to adapt and go to home assistant and send a command to the relay to control relay on and off. This is a home automation command create on home assistant. Now I will tell you how to do this. First, you can prepare a USB ZigBee to USB device. Uh, this is convert ZigBee protocol to MQTT. So yes, this is commonly used. Uh, you can easy to find this USB to ZigBee and we can plug on the Raspberry Pi and now we will begin the software setting okay let's look at the home assistant uh, this we have already integrated the four channel relay by the MQTT for the h 32 to country so we can turn on every relay I just add this four lamp uh, for testing because uh, this switch have uh, many uh, click modes and we can turn off now we can just add the MQTT for ZigBee. So you can see our form, the DIY project. Uh, you can install the ZigBee to MQTT. Add on star firstly. So we can just copy this uh, URL. And go to your home assistant. You will see the supervise and add on star. Uh, your computer will not uh, this two icon because I have already installed. You just click this and uh, click this one and uh, paste uh, your, your URL and uh, click the add. When you click the add, uh, you will see these two add on. I'm cl click the close, you click the add. And when you see these two icon, uh, this is for step over and this is for development verse so you can see this development i can install this one I, actually any of these two version can be work well i just uh, install this one so i can install online just wait for a moment it will be online install the zigbee to mqtt and add on so after you add on install complete you just need to configuration for your ZigBee to MQTT. It's also very easy. Uh, just uh, we can see 
this configuration I have already uh, bank up for you so you can just uh, copy some command uh, by yourself uh, we wait for the install complete okay install complete uh, this is some buttons uh, this is watchdog and this is auto update uh, it's up to you whether enable or disable this and this is showed in the sidebar we can enable this uh, so you can see the icon at this left menu or easy to find out now the first we need to configuration uh, this is the default uh, uh, you just add some command like this mqtt uh, basic topic basic topic you just input uh, this mqtt uh, copy this information and 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 copy this because I have installed the Moscow on my Raspberry Pi so you should uh, write, write input your own MQTT server IP and the port uh, this is my IP I can choose to one uh, this IP because just my Raspberry Pi IP I have installed the MQTT on the book on the Raspberry Pi and this is the port and this is the username and this is the password so I can press the save any other you not need to change I just change this add this command to your configuration uh, because this is the user and the password we can see the supervise uh, that is my most cute because my configuration broke is MQTT the username and the password is one two three so you need to as thin as the configuration with the MQTT broke so I go to my Zigbee to MQTT add-on again and uh, this is our configuration we, I press the save and now you can click the start start the add-on to running okay now it's running then we can see the logo file and refresh that means uh, now it's working fine and now we can click the zigbee to mqtt and you when you install the zigbee to mqtt add-on you will see this window and now we need to running the signal from xiaomi zigbee switch actually you can uh, learning many 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 zigbee switch so now I can tell you how to learn the signal just you click uh, join okay now you just uh, use that toy and uh, I can hold down you can see this whole uh, blue, blue LED okay I remove okay you can refresh now you can see the device is just the Xiaomi device is scanned uh, you can see uh, this is a friend name uh, this is the ID we will use the in MQTT device name and this is I Mac address and this is manufacturer and this is module and this is a signal signal level and this is the power because the switch is new so the power is 100% and now you can see the logo file I can clear so you can see I can press ok this is the feedback by MQTT because you can see the payload uh, this is single and also it will feedback the voltage uh, the uh, link quality uh, the signal and the battery uh, but I just want the payload of the click mode because I need to single click and double click and three times and fourth and fifth so I can press double click okay you can see uh, this payload is double click so I can copy this payload and uh, shift on this when I press one with feedback uh, this one 
when I press the two, two times will feedback double. Now I try to press three. One, two, three. Okay, this is a trap. Copy and the paste. And when I press force, you can see one, two, three, four. Okay, this is quite And also click. And I can press the five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is for many. And why my lamp will be automatically contained? Because I have created the home automation in Home Assistant. I will delete it and create again. Now, if I press the six or many times, you can see I can clear this because so many information. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's also is many. So I can tell you uh, if greater than five times or equal five, uh, this all will feedback many, as uh, the payload will be many. So we just, according to this law, we can create the automation for Home Assistant. Now we can see the device, and we can also see the map. Uh, this map is a Zigbee network. Uh, if you have many switch or many Zigbee device, uh, you can see this map, uh, which is connect with the uh, USB hub. So this is for a Zigbee map. Now we need to create the MQTT device for the Xiaomi Zigbee switch. So we can see the next step. We just create the switch. We can just copy this one, this sensor, because this is for see the battery and this is for see the signal and this is for click just uh, read the state of the click mode so we can copy this to home assistant yaml file configuration so we can just fill it and this is the configuration uh, just configuration dot yaml file and this is my yaml file I have copied to this page. This is a three device for the Xiaomi ZB switch. So the first name is voltage, and the second is signal, and the third is click. I will can record to this voltage. This is entity ID, and the signal and click click mode so you just copy to this yaml file and press press the file to save and just restart your server restart waiting the home assistant reboot okay now is started and we can click overview and first we can click all list and we can edit the dashboard and you can click this edit view and we can click the baggage and we can edit this uh, three device uh, like the voltage and that voltage is this one and the second is signal signal to this one and the third is click mode click and copy to click okay this is three device you can see I can press save and close now you can see this is the power percent and this is signal and this is click because when I click uh, this will be very quickly you can see uh, this is refresh so it's very quickly every time when I press the key as uh, the payload is uploaded to a home assistant so the value will be updated. If I not press the key, every one hour, the date will be updated. So if you want to see the state and the value right now, you just click the button. So the value will be updated. Okay, this is how to see the state of the Xiaomi switch. And uh, now we can add the 
automation, make the automation just uh, configuration, and you can go to the automation. Okay, now this is uh, blank. Uh, no any automation we can create. Just add automation. Press this button. And uh, what should we do? Like one click. We can type easily. One click and create and skip. And this is the name automation, such as one click, uh, one click. And uh, this is the device. We can choose the state because we need to, when we get the state of Xiaomi switch is one click. So we can add the ID, click, uh, click is two. We can see this uh, one single. That means press one time. So I can, can copy to this to single. So the payload one is single. What we do? We just uh, call service. Uh, press this item call service. And the service is we need to turn on relay one or turn off relay one, just to toggle the relay one. So this is a switch we have defined in MQTT. So we can just use the switch token service. And which relay is for token? So we can just pick entity ID. So I can choose H32B. Uh, this is my this is my relay one. Okay, now I can press save. Now I can go to the automation. You can see this is the first automation command I have created. Now I can press the key for one time. You can see relay is on. And press again, relay is off. Now I can press twice, double click. Uh, this is not working because I have deleted all home automation command. Now I'll tell you how to create uh, the Double click for the automation, turn on and turn off the relay tool. We also can just click this button and uh, to click and copy and create and skip and to click, to click. And also we choose the state when Xiaomi click sensor is to is double so we can copy this double when payload is double change to double and also the cost service and the service is switch talking and this time we add the entity is channel 2 just this h 32 b because I have connected with two h 32 b really controllers so I, this is my second h 32 b controller the channel 2 and the save and back and you can see uh, this is a second for double click when I double click uh, you can see the relay 2 is on double click again uh, the relay 2 is off so I can add the three click we can use a faster speed to add a slick and the state click Click to three in trap and the call service switch token and this is very three. This one the save and back and we can add the four four click C L I C key. Great, skip, and the four click, four click, and the state, and the ID click, and the two, uh, this word, copy, to this one, and also cross service, and uh, switch talking, and relay four. Okay, now the last one is five click 
this also we can see this is many click uh, we can use many click because last than five times always called many click great skip and many click and uh, state Shut. click click sensor and uh, two many and you can choose call service that is switch token and this time if you can define many times you can turn on all of this and turn off all of this you just add like one two three four I can also turn, turn on my fifth fifth and the press save and back now you can see uh, this is five automation this is for disable or enable. You can see when I enable this, I can press many times. Okay, this is already done. And I, I also press many times. I don't know press how many times. I just really off. And if I disable this, now I can press for many times. Uh, will not, nothing will be happen. So I can just this switch is for enable or disable for your home automation. So this is very easy to create the different work mode for Xiaomi Switch and also we can see uh, the ZigBee to MQTT and you can see the device, you can click and you can see there are many device support many 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 device so I can scroll up so this is all can be used uh, this is Zigbee to MQTT so there are uh, thousands of devices you can add I just see this list we just find the Xiaomi uh, this is always Xiaomi device this is made in China so you can see I use this one uh, where this switch just this one this one and also you can add the wall switch and also many kinds of wall switch like this temperature sensor or PCIR sensor, uh, motion sensor, and uh, door sensor, window sensor, and many sensors. So I'll use this way to integrate with the home assistant. Okay, thanks for watching.